Hi there. This video is intended to show you how easy and quick it can be to create a new project using the WBS Schedule Pro software. We'll use the WBS charts to show you how to break down a project. I'll show you the network charts and how to create dependencies uh, using the network chart. I'll show you how to use the Gantt chart to help refine the plan and the task sheets to help you manage the data in the plan. We always recommend starting off the planning process by using the WBS chart, in particular, the WBS planning view. This is a very simple view that allows you to uh, create the, the breakdown of your tasks and summary tasks or phases in your project. Start by hitting the insert button up at the top of the screen to insert your first task. You can hit the drop down arrow to insert a subtask to that. I can insert other tasks to the, to the left or before the selected task or to the right or after the selected task. I can define this to be my project summary. I can define this to be a particular phase. I can break down the project by selecting this particular item, inserting a subtask to that, inserting another task to the right of that, and another task to the right of that. I can also use my arrow keys uh, or my keyboard uh, in conjunction with the Alt key. I can hit my arrow keys to create a task to the right, another task below. So that's a nice quick way to add tasks by using the Alt arrow keys on your keyboard. I'll go ahead and back out of that one and add some more tasks below the programming programming phase. So once I've created the tasks in my plan, I can go to the network chart and create the dependencies. The network chart shows the structure you defined in the WBS, so it, define, it shows the phases as horizontal bands across the page, and then it has the tasks listed as boxes. And you can see that if I click in one box and I drag over another box, I can create a dependency between those two tasks. I can create a dependency between tasks across phases by simply clicking and dragging to create your dependencies that way. I can keep on clicking and dragging between tasks to create dependencies between existing tasks, or I can even create new tasks by clicking and dragging outside of the box to create a link and a new task dependent on the task I initially uh, drug from. I can put in durations. I can put in percent completes, but that's a little early for that. And you can see that as I update the plan in the network chart that it is uh, automatically and dynamically calculating the critical path. The Gantt chart is another way to refine the plan. I can add additional tasks here. I can even add milestones. So a milestone is defined as a zero day task. I can create a milestone by simply changing the duration to zero. I can make links in the Gantt chart to my milestone. Let me try that again. I can rearrange tasks. I can even insert tasks in the Gantt chart. Maybe I want this to be my start milestone. Make that a zero day duration. Link it to my very first task. The Gantt chart is scalable, so I can zoom in and zoom out to make the uh, time scale wider or narrower as I see fit. And then the task sheet is used to manage the data. I can use the task sheet to enter large amounts of data. I can use the task sheet to uh, add constraints or uh, use the various text fields in here. That's just nice spare text field to add other information that you uh, uh, don't normally see with the schedule wise. And that's how to create a very, very quick plan. I can switch back and forth between the different views that I've used. I can go back to the WBS. I could choose a different WBS to show a, a different way of displaying the data. I can show a WBS that even shows hours and costs and update costs and hours for the particular tasks in the project. I can go back to the network chart. The network chart again shows the dependencies between the tasks, much like the Gantt chart, but the Gantt chart is more of your typical bar chart. 
and the task sheet shows just a grid of data. When I'm through with that, I can leave this as a standalone plan, or I can export it to Microsoft Project, and it will take all the information that I've typed in here and create a nice new Microsoft Project plan from that data. If I do that to go to Microsoft Project, I give it a name, goes to Microsoft Project, and there's my plan in Microsoft Project. Now that I have the data in Microsoft Project, I continue to go back and forth between Microsoft Project and WBS Schedule Pro with all updates in either program updating the, the, the other. So if I put a Microsoft Project task in here and I go look at the WBS, I can see that it has put the Microsoft Project task in the WBS. So that's the real basics to uh, creating a, a plan in WBS Schedule Pro. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, you can see our website at criticaltools.com or email us at support at criticaltools.com.